Hey guys, Miss McBride here, and I'm going to read to you about Jacques Cartier. That's my French accent. <laughs> it says here Jacques Cartier sailed on three voyages for the King of France. In 1540, 1534, ooh, the King of France sent Jacques Cartier to find riches and a northwestern passage to Asia. He landed about a month later at the mouth of the St. Lawrence River in what is now Canada. Cartier followed the St. Lawrence River for over 1,000 miles during his three voyages. He hoped it would lead him to the Pacific Ocean on the other side of North America. He also met many Native Americans who told him stories about a wealthy city full of gold, rubies, and other riches. Cartier and his men looked for this city in hopes of becoming rich. They found what they thought were gold and diamonds, only to find out later it was only fool's gold and sparkly stones called quartz. Cartier overcame many obstacles during his voyages, including harsh weather, icy waters, terrible snowstorms, sickness, and attacks by the Native Americans. Today, Cartier is remembered for his discovery of the St. Lawrence River and for giving Canada its name. Jacques began sailing with French explorer Giovanni de Ver Verrazzano on his explorations of the coast of Canada when he was young. It was not long after that trip that the King of France sent Jacques Cartier on his own voyage to explore the new world, his mission and goals. In 1534, the King of France sent Jacques Cartier to find riches and a Northwestern passage to Asia. Jacques landed about a month at a month later at the mouth of the St. Lawrence River in what is now Canada. He sailed around parts of the Newfoundland and through the Gulf of St. Lawrence and then on to Quebec in Canada. Cartier followed the St. Lawrence River for over 1,000 miles during his three voyages. He hoped it would lead him to the Pacific Ocean on the other side of North America, but it did not. He also met many Native Americans who told him stories about a wealthy city of gold, rubies, and other riches. Cartier and his men looked for this city in hopes of making France rich. They found what they thought were gold and diamonds, only to find out later it was only fool's gold and sparkly stones called quartz. Obstacles and Challenges Cartier overcame many obstacles during his voyages, including harsh weather, icy waters, and terrible snowstorms. During one of his trips, his crew became ill with a disease called scurvy. The Huron tribe helped them by giving them a special tea made from the boiled bark of a white spruce tea. At first, the Native Americans were friendly. But when they learned that Cartier was there to claim the land and riches for France, they began attacking Cartier and his crew. Accomplishments. Jacques Cartier tried to set up a new colony near present-day Quebec, but he was forced to leave this new settlement after being attacked by the Native Americans. His travels along the St. Lawrence River paved the way for future French exploration of Canada. Today, Cartier is remembered for his discovery of the St. Lawrence River and for giving Canada its name.